Congratulations to those who correctly solved our problem today, which is to discuss the structure, properties, and behavior of magnesium. Let's take a look at some of the things that you would have wanted to say about this very interesting element. So it's an alkaline earth metal, which is group 2A on the periodic table. And one of the characteristics all alkaline earth metals have is they take on always a positive two charge when they become a cation. They become a positive ion. Now there are many transition metals that will sometimes take a positive two charge. But the reason why magnesium and barium and calcium are all in group 2A is that they only take that charge. They will not take another charge. They don't, they're not transitional, so to speak. At being as a being metals on that left side of the staircase, they of course are going to have most likely these metallic properties. High melting point, high boiling point, good conductor speed of electricity. They are ductile, you can draw them into a wire. They're malleable, you can flatten them into sheets. Um, seriously, I didn't even notice this. Here is some magnesium right here. And as you can see, it's in ribbon form. It's very flexible. Um, and so we're, you can flatten this however you want it into a wire, a sheet. So uh, there's uh, magnesium's properties on display right there that is typical of all metals to some degree. Magnesium ha is, has this type of property, you know, to more degree than some very, very flexible for a, a, a thin metal like that, which means that its flexibility, its low density, uh, makes it a, have a characteristic that a lot of the group of the uh, alkaline earth metals have, which is they can be used in metal alloys. They get mixed with, with other metals to make a product that is a strong but light. Uh, another thing that the uh, alkaline earth metals have in common is a lot of them are used in fireworks because they are quite reactive, but not explosively so, I mean, in an unstable sense like the alkaline metals are. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it here, but it does not take a lot to ignite magnesium. Uh, then we get into the what's in the box, the periodic table box properties. We can determine that magnesium has 12 protons and 12 electrons in its neutral form. And most of the time, if we take this atomic mass and round it down to 12, we can say that probably most of the time it has 12 neutrons. So congratulations, and uh, hopefully this helps you start packaging together some of the stuff that we're learning about magnesium. Oh, and one other thing, some of the basic uh, uses of magnesium. Uh, first of all, it's essential to the body. It's used all over uh, for everything from nerve sim signaling in, in your nervous system cells. It uh, is uh, part of it, wrapped up in complexes of your nucleic acids of, of DNA and RNA. Um, so as, and also uh, we uh, know that magnesium, because it is quite so uh, reactive and used in the fireworks, um, a lot it can get used very much in special effects. And it's even used uh, for nighttime signaling because it puts off just so much light when it burns uh, to a degree that you probably wouldn't want to look at it directly. But at any rate, uh, congratulations once again. See you next week.